Welcome everyone. Welcome to our March, April meditation. This month we're doing attuning the Earth's chakra points. It's going to be a wonderful etheric journey to all seven different locations around the globe alongside all the chakras and also the sacred acupuncture and meridian points of the Earth. So first I want to welcome everyone joining us live for this meditation. We want to welcome our Patreon members. Always happy to see you and everyone who's joining us from all over the world. Hello, hello to you. Welcome. Uh, we're always so excited to see so many of you joining us every month for our unique monthly series of meditation. Each month we do a very unique journey to help you with blessings, uh, to help you to uplift yourself, to support with the changes, whether it's vibrationally, solar frequencies, um, global changes, and so forth, and your own personal journey. So the beauty of tonight's meditation, it's going to be also an opportunity to attune your own self in your own energy points within yourself. Now, even though we are going to explore the seven main chakra point, uh, the seven main chakra in sacred location around the globe, we know that we are also working on a multi-dimensional level. So it's going to be perfectly aligned as we are moving into uh, a beautiful spring equinox here in this hemisphere. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. I can see so many of you are still joining us. Bonjour, buenos dias. Hello from all over the world. Aloha, everyone. Aloha. Very, very happy to see you. And all of you who will be rediscovering this meditation over and over as a support tool. And those of you who will discover this meditation once it is posted on my YouTube channel. So tonight, today, moving forward, we are going to attune the Earth's chakra points. And this is a sacred time, especially right now, as we're moving into so much changes. So it's very important to allow yourself to also nurture, nourish your body, mind, and soul, and being able to have this amazing energy. So as we attune and balance the earth chakra and the sacred points in seven locations around the globe on the planetary grid, we also help you to adjust your own energetic grid in the human system. Uh, they all relate to the seven places on the body of alignment, as we know. And so we're going to move from, we're going to start from root chakra all the way up to the crown, to the locations and which also allow you to attune yourself energetically, recalibre, realign, to refresh, um, bring the energy in. So, oh yes, we have our peanut here. Cannot do it without, without her, for sure. And so, as we are going to etherically travel, my Octurian group will be with us to make sure that we travel safely. And it's also in a sacred space. <laughs> yes, in a sacred space. So you allow yourself to really relax, enjoy, and take on the journey. We always making sure that our sacred space is off the highest light and the highest frequencies. <laughs> She's really wants, you know, my peanut is very um, famously internationally known now. She's a Bengal cat and she loves the energy. So namaste. Um, <laughs> Namaste, everybody. So we're going to be traveling to different point. As we move along the seven point on the planetary grid, it's an opportunity to also send lots of energy in those points and those region on the planet, and also opportunity to be in alignment with yourself. Think of it this way. It's a gift to the earth, and it's also a gift to yourself. It's a community gift for all of us. And so as we're going to be traveling together, we're also amplifying the intention to clear those points. Some guidelines. If you fall asleep, trust explicitly that you're receiving everything that you need. Now, of the time people tell me, oh, I fell asleep. That's okay. There was something more that you need to gain. 
everything matters. You always receive the gift as the more important for you. And if you sit down, we always lovingly recommend that you keep your arms and legs on crusts as much as possible to let the energy flow unless you feel comfortable otherwise. And if you lie down, it is perfectly fine. It's exactly what you need. Yes, let's realign, balance and attune Mother Gaia's chakra energy point along the planetary grid as a gift and a celebration for her and for all of us and all sentient conscious life form evolving on this earth, including my peanut, including your animals, uh, the minerals, the sacred elementals, the tree nations, the fairies, and all kingdom coexisting with this beloved earth, Mother Gaia. So it's going to be a beautiful treat for all of us. And together, we have the power to uplift mountains. We really do. So <laughs> allow me to peanut want to say hello. Hello, everybody. Okay, honey. Thank you. There you are. See the animal kingdom? And she's a lyran, so we also have the presence of other galactic beings. <laughs> Oh, you're so very welcome. We are excited. Let's dive. Are you ready? We are. Perfect. Make yourself comfortable. We are beginning right now. So thank you for closing your eyes. And with your eyes closed, let's take a few deep breaths. Just bring your awareness in your sacred space, in the here and now with divine ease, divine grace. Let's just take a moment just to feel your lungs, to bring your awareness down to your lungs. Celebrating the opening of your lungs, bringing more oxygen flow. Allowing yourself to relax, let go of all the day's events, letting go also of the global consciousness events, as we are entering into a sacred space. With each breath, see and feel that you are breathing consciously, which means deeper, slower, with divine ease and divine grace. Allow yourself to sink deeper into this gentle altar state of relaxation. Starting with your body, relaxing your neck, your shoulders, relaxing your jaw, relaxing your arms all the way to the fingertips, relaxing your spine to the midline of your body, down to the pelvic floor. Relaxing your legs down to your knees. Relaxing down to your ankles, releasing stress and anxiety. And past the grid of your feet. To see and feel that your body become a clear, open conduit of deep relaxation welcoming a greater flow of divine life force energy. Just feel that your body become a gentle waterfall of light. Also opening and balancing all of the acupuncture in the meridian point of your body template. We also invite you to feel the presence of Mother Gaia. To align your heart to her heart. And to see or imagine roots coming from the sole of your feet, going deep into the core of the planet. As you are in synchronization with Gaia, 
as well as all the subtle changes and expansion. You're allowed to stabilize your own vibrational field, allowing your body to better adapt to changes in pulse and frequencies with more ease and more grace. Beautiful. Just keep breathing deeply and slowly. Let everything flow. And let your mind watch your breath going deeper and slower. Just let your mind observing your breath as if it was watching a gentle ocean gentle waves of the surface of a calming and soothing ocean of light. And as you keep breathing deeply and slowly, see and feel that you have now entered into a deeper state of relaxation. You have stepped into a higher vibrational presence, state of presence. We are also opening a quantum field of light to keep our group in the highest frequency of light. to maintain our group in the highest integrity of light during our sacred journey today. And now from the roots of your feet, we invite you to bring your awareness up to your heart center and connect to the sacred gateway of light within your heart. It is through the gateway of your heart that we begin now our etheric journey through the planetary grid. In the presence of our beloved Octorian group you also have Octorian guides with you, along with magnificent angelic beings and the consciousness of the Earth Mother Gaia herself. And all together, simply see and feel. Feel your consciousness traveling through the gateway of your heart in your etheric light body as we're moving through a sacred stargate of light, an interdimensional stargate of light. As we are traveling now around the globe in the first point we are traveling now to Mount Shasta, California, USA to connect with the sacred root chakra of Gaia. See, feel, or simply visualize Gaia's root chakra in complete alignment with Mount Shasta in California, USA. Your root chakra associate with our foundational strength to regain higher stability, safety, releasing any stress response, false matrix of reality. We are here to strengthen the foundational energy of the root chakra of Gaia which also reflect into your own root chakra at the base of your spine. Let's send the highest and purest light 
into the root chakra of Gaia. Bring stability, security, and safety. And just keep breathing deeply into the root chakra of Gaia in Mount Shasta. Sending the purest light into the chakra. Also stabilizing her planetary grid. Stabilizing also global consciousness in new strength a new adaptability. And also feel this new foundational strength within yourself in relationship to your own body template. Allowing your body to stabilize and becoming a clearer conduit for higher frequencies. And now on the next breath, see and feel the stargate of light opening as we are about to travel to the second chakra on the planet. In Lake Titicaca on the border of Bolivia and Peru, follow our Octorian group, the angelic beings 
and the consciousness of Gaia to the border of Bolivia and Peru to connect to the sacral chakra of the earth. The sacral chakra brings association of energy and balance between the divine feminine and the divine masculine on the planet. It also brings higher purposes, emotional balance, self-respect, and renewed creativity. As we're standing right above this sacred lake between Bolivia and Peru, see and feel that you're sending the purest light, divine white light, into the chakra, the sacral chakra, for healing and balance. At the same time, see and feel your own sacral chakra also balancing the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine within you while opening and deepening your own creativity.
And now see and feel the next stargate of light opening. And as you continue traveling in your etheric light body, follow our Octorian group and the beings of light to the third point on the planetary grid. In Uluru and the Olgas in Australia, as we work with the solar plexus chakra of Gaia, many of you recognize the sacred space of Uluru in Australia. The solar system and the solar plexus brings higher energy, deep healing, balancing energy, activating a greater planetary purposes including ascension and the elevation of the global consciousness to a fifth dimensional plane of reality. The solar plexus chakra of Gaia also brings more confidence and a sense of inner power, activating your own willpower within your own solar plexus chakra. See and feel that you are transmitting the purest and highest white light into the solar chakra of Gaia. And feel this gentle balance in your own solar plexus, also activating your core light, the light of power, your light of integrity, your light of sovereignty. And to the empowerment of Gaia's solar plexus, she also raised herself in consciousness and in her own sovereignty as a conscious sentient celestial being. And keep breathing deeply and slowly with divine grace.
and keep breathing consciously, bringing more light into your own being and into the sacral solar plexus of Mother Gaia, right in Uluru, Australia. Rising in consciousness and to feel more empowered within yourself and within the planetary grid of Gaia. And now see and feel or imagine the next stargate of light opening inviting you to travel etherically through the stargate with our Octorian group and the angelic being alongside Gaia's consciousness as we are moving to the next point right into the heart center of Gaia her sacred heart chakra. We are now going into Glastonbury in England, connecting also with Stonehenge and Shaftesbury to see and feel the energy of Mother Gaia heart chakra in the sacred Glastonbury, England, in connection to Stonehenge. It is a center of pure love, sacred compassion, giving, forgiving, exchanging to light. It is through the sacred heart of Mother Gaia that we send the highest and purest light for healing, healing of past historical times healing emotional upheaval, healing the past and the present. It is time to transmute and transcend any trauma that has been going on on the planet and throughout history. To see and feel that your own sacred heart center is attuned with Mother Gaia's heart center. And as you heal your heart, you also help to heal the heart of the planet. And see and feel that the purest, highest divine light coming into the heart of Mother Gaia also expand throughout the grid and connect to the heart center of every sentient living being. We ask the angelic beings to amplify our healing and our tuning work today to continue healing the sacred heart center of everyone. As we also healing, strengthening and uplifting sacred Gaia. See and feel this beautiful uplifting ray of the green emerald light going deep into the heart center of Mother Gaia.
and keep breathing deeply and slowly into your heart. Allow Gaia to speak through your heart. She recognizes you. She loves you as you love her. Feel these pure frequencies of love entering the very center of Gaia's heart. As she replies with the same love for you and all living beings evolving on, on this earth. It is a time to renew your partnership with Gaia as guardians. It is a beautiful collaboration between Gaia and all of us. Feel and see her consciousness in and around you as we're helping her to also heal and elevate our heart chakra into fifth dimensional energies. It is a complete celebration of the light. And as we're continuing anchoring more light into our heart center, the beings of light indicate the next stargate is open. So see and feel yourself traveling in your etheric light body into the next point, which takes us to the great pyramid and the Sphinx in Egypt to work with the sacred throat chakra of Gaia. The throat, of course, associated with divine communication, self-expression, welcoming and speaking higher truth, becoming clear and effective communicators, and healing the self-expression of Gaia herself. See and feel the presence of the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx of Egypt. Let's bring and attune the throat chakra of Gaia within the etheric plane and into the planetary grid, reflecting back into your own throat chakra, clearing and healing all stigma related to self-expression, divine communication, higher truth, wisdom. It is safe for me now to speak in my truth in accordance to the divine light. I become an effective communicator and channels for divine wisdom and knowledge. I listen to the language of Gaia and I receive with more ease all the symbols and the tones coming from Gaia herself. The throat chakra of Gaia also heal repression and trauma of the past overlapping into the present. So see and feel that we are sending into the throat chakra of Gaia the highest, purest light.
giving a voice to everyone, all life form, including the animal kingdom, the mineral kingdom, the tree nations, all oceanic lives, and so forth. See and feel much energy coming into your throat chakra from the front and the back of the neck. It is a time of great reconciliation and unification on the planet and within ourselves. And now let's attune the throat chakra of Gaia. Remember to keep breathing deeply and slowly. Let the energy flow through you. Feel the sense of release and relief happening into the throat chakra of Gaia. Right on this very historical timeline of the Great Pyramid and the Sphinx in Egypt. And now with the Octorian group and the angelic being, we have opened the next Stargate as we invite you to travel with us to the next point on the planetary grid. to work with the third eye of Mother Gaia. Her third eye is all over the grid. For the purpose of our tuning, we will return now to Clasterbury and Shufflebury in England. See and feel yourself returning to the sacred point of Clasterbury in England as we work now with the third eye chakra of Gaia, opening and deepening intuition, opening also to higher intelligence, and connecting at a deep spiritual level 
see and feel the purest and highest light moving into the third eye of Mother Gaia, also reflecting into your own third eye of intuition, healing and clearing any trauma related to your third eye, knowing it is safe for me in this lifetime to be a visionary, to see and perceive beyond any veils of illusions, false paradigm, and perceiving the perfection of a greater divine design. And as we are tuning Mother Gaia through her eye, just gently feeling an elevation in consciousness, a rising of light happening globally and around the earth. Deep in all the intricacy of our grids, as well as a multidimensional level. Mother Gaia's third eye is clear and open and project into the global consciousness a greater design, a newer energetic grid of light. This vision is being projected everywhere around the globe. And as the light continue attuning the third eye of Gaia, my Arcturian group and the celestial beings, I've opened the last stargate of our journey. See, feel, and imagine yourself traveling gently in your etheric light body into the stargate of light as we're moving into Mount Calius in Tibet. We're now traveling in Tibet to attune the crown chakra of Gaia. It is within the presence of the sacred mount Kailas in Tibet that we gather into our light. The crown chakra of Gaia represents the highest level of wisdom, understanding, divine guidance, and cosmic consciousness. Let's send the highest and purest divine light into Mother Gaia's crown chakra, also reflecting into your own crown chakra of enlightenment, allowing more soul essence to come into your body template for higher awareness. Let's continuing this sacred attunement 
of Gaia's crown achievement into the rising of her light through her crown of enlightenment. And as we're sending the purest and highest light into the crown chakra of Gaia, see and feel that all seven sacred points on the planetary grid come together in perfect alignment into a sacred golden grid of light around the earth. also bringing perfect alignment within your own chakra system. See and feel your entire being radiating the purest light. Remember that you are a divine eternal soul of light and you carry great power within you. And now gently see and feel yourself traveling back to the sacred gateway of your heart. Gently returning in full consciousness, in complete alignment, back into your body, refreshed and pulsating with the highest light. And as you gently reintegrate your body in full consciousness, let now take a deep breath in and release. One more time, let's take a deep grounding breath in and release. We show gratitude to Gaia and all of our sacred sacred points on the planet. We are so grateful for all of our intergalactic beings, all of our star families, 
and the angelic realm. And when you are ready, you are now welcome to open your eyes. Welcome back. Welcome back. Gently. Welcoming back into your space, knowing that you are exactly what you need to be right here, right now, in this sacred space. And as we have attuned, heal, and elevate seven sacred points along the planetary grid, known as Gaia chakras, you also have received the same attunement within you. As always, we are always so grateful for you joining us every month for our meditation. The replay will be available on my YouTube channel. And so we invite you to connect and subscribe as well with divine light and divine grace, divine ease. <laughs> I'm glad that that was beautiful. And like city of light that we were traveling into, they will continue to be with you. And join us on Thursday, April 21st at 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight. It's Arizona time. We're all in the same time zone all year round. Same as Pacific right now. So join us on the 21st uh, of April for our next amazing meditation. And in the meanwhile, in the meantime, take the time to integrate this light and really feel that you are part of a very vast network of consciousness. And you are very welcome and your light make a big difference. You make a huge difference. And Gaia celebrates you. So, namaste everyone. And we'll see you in April. Much love.